Earth is humanity's sole habitat, and for all the wonders and miracles that mankind have created, humans has brought much harm to our planet, such as global warming, ozone layer depletion, acid rain, fresh water and energy shortages, deforestation, desertification, massive and rapid species extinctions, pollution caused by toxic chemicals, etc. With a rapid urbanization in China, traditional township has been gradually giving way to new development. As urbanization continues to progress, and with the rapid economy development, output of urban and rural household waste have increased tremendously. All types of waste cause destruction to urban and rural ecological environment, to quality of life. Three ways of treating waste: landfill, incineration, and the most damaging are illegal dumping. How do we dispose of this growing mountain of waste and trash? How should we handle solid waste from urban and rural areas? These have become pressing environmental issues. Urban household waste disposal began in early 1980s. Due to the conditions at that time, waste could only be disposed by landfill. But this method of waste disposal would create future catastrophes down the line. Waste disposals not only occupied considerable masses of land, but also caused contamination in underground water. Incinerators in use across China and around the world. These include mechanical grade incinerators, fluidized bed incinerators, pyrolytic incinerators. And other types such as vertical incinerators. Chitam Environmental Protection Company is a Chinese company specializing in waste incineration disposal, with support of advanced imported technologies and in-house research and development. Chitam has developed a fifth generation SLC type vertical self-sustained waste incineration facility, which are most suitable for small and medium-sized towns and cities. Not every town or city requires to build a large incinerator to treat more than 500 tons or 1,000 tons of waste daily. Chitam has the following competitive edge: this waste incinerator features a compact size, low investment and operation costs, high levels of adaptability, easy maintenance, and complete incineration. No added fuel is required during the incineration process. Waste leachate is recycled into the incinerator and is burned with no discharge required. Chitang Superior Technology has attracted attention across the country. This incinerator offers extraordinary incineration endurance with 168-hour continuous operations. Incineration performance is one of the most eye-catching features. It has been certified by China's Environmental Protection Department and meets the flue gas emission levels more stringent than China's GB 18485 2014 environmental standards. This incinerator disposal of waste involves the following process: after urban household waste is transported to the waste treatment plant by a dedicated vehicle, the landfill leachate will be disposed through the collection system. The waste is then stored in the waste pit. After being processed through the screw feeder, waste then transfers to the incinerator uniformly, continuously, and in multiples. The screw feeder serves as the pre-incineration disposal unit of the incineration system. It dries, transports, and evenly mixes the waste to prepare it for incineration. So that waste can be transferred into the incinerator smoothly and thoroughly, and rapidly burn to fully meet the local disposal demand.
Waste in the incinerator is plowed by heated wind, funneled underneath, and uses the waste's intrinsic properties as fuel to fully burn them. The active combustion temperature of the vertical incinerator reaches up to 850 to 1000 degrees, ensuring that the waste is fully burned while effectively curbing the generation of dioxins. Flue gas then enters the secondary combustion chamber in the upper incinerator section. This chamber is a special heat storage device. Its chamber temperature can be controlled at over 850 degrees. The flue gas is retained for at least four seconds, twice as long as the two-second national standard. When its temperature falls below 850 degrees, the flue gas releases stored heat to ensure the temperature remains above this level so that harmful substances can be fully decomposed. High temperature flue gas enters the exhaust heat boiler where temperature plummets to 180 degrees. After leaving the exhaust heat boiler, the flue gas enters the secondary low temperature cyclone dust collector and is rotated at high speed to collect particular matter via centrifugal force. The flue gas then enters a back room where internal particles and absorbents capture and collect the particulate matter in order to purify the final exhaust. After leaving the back compartment, the flue gas enters a washing tower with acidic substances and nitrogen oxides and neutralize the gas with an aqua solution specially made by Cheetah. All generated wastewater is later recycled while the flue gas enters the funnel via a draught fan. After being cleaned in the washing tower, when the negative pressure inside the incinerator is very high, the draught fan slows down to avoid unnecessary power consumption. After going through the above purification system, the flue gas is monitored online in real time and then is emitted via the funnel once reaches environmental standards. The steam generated from the burned waste can be used for power generation. And in extreme weather regions, the exhaust heat boiler can provide sufficient heating for the entire factory, preventing the landfill leche from freezing. Furthermore, the frozen waste does not have to be thawed. It only needs to be broken into smaller parcels using the grab when being fed in by crane. Waste is dried in the feeding system and then moves into the incinerator for rapid burning. The incinerator is equipped with a slag discharge system, and the slag can be used for multiple purposes. After being calcined at high temperature, slag can be made into eco-friendly hollow bricks for pedestrian walkways or many other kinds of outdoor building materials. The whole process is operated from the central control room. Every process of the waste incinerator is easily monitored from the TV monitor, which can be glanced simultaneously. And the entire operations are easy to manage at ease. This incinerator's most striking feature is a simple structure, minimal size, compact design, and low number of moving mechanical parts, ensuring stable and reliable operations. The system is effectively airtight, leak-proof, and free from environmental pollution. With no need for added fuel, it can effectively and reliably burn high moisture, low heat value, mixed and unseparated solid household waste, even waste with a moisture content of 40 to 50 percent, and a heat value of only 800 calories per kilogram, can be ignited in this incinerator. The whole system makes effective use of heat energy. Oxidizing air is fed into the incinerator at the bottom and goes through the ventral conical furnace before spreading to a slag layer. This cools the slag while raising the temperature. After leaving the slag layer, it enters the combustion chamber where the air temperature is 400 to 500 degrees. Thus, in the combustion chamber, waste is fully and rapidly burned. The chamber temperature is maintained at over 850 degrees High temperature flue gas is retained in the incinerator for over four seconds, effectively preventing dioxins from being generated. After undergoing the acidification and desulfurization, the flue gas can be discharged 
Three of tax imprudence, low investment cost, and limited personnel headcount are supported by highly automated operations, making this facility both economical and practical. And the sixth generation SLC type vertical self sustained incinerator is ready to play an influential role in the governance of the environmental arena.